Now let's talk about treasury operations. This question we ask every year, and is what's becoming more difficult, what's becoming easier, and what's becoming, uh, what's staying the same in regards to certain treasury processes. So this one is just cash management. You know, is cash management becoming difficult, easier, or the same? So you'll see that just shy of, or just over 7% said that cash management is becoming easier within the organization. The vast majority of 58% saying that it's, it's the same. Um, but a good third, a third of the respondents are saying it's becoming more difficult. Why is that? Let's move forward. Bank relationship management. 11% roughly said that it's becoming easier. 55% approximately said that it's staying the same. But again, about a third are saying bank relationship management is becoming more difficult. You'll see a trend here eventually. <laughs> so debt management. This is sort of the bright spot, if you will, within organizations. And that is debt management in general is becoming a lot easier for organizations. And I think what this might really refer to is sort of when, when we say over the last year, you know, is it becoming easier for debt management? For sure. The credit crisis, the financial crisis, things are easing a little bit. Therefore, they're saying, well, debt's not as bad as it used to be. If you would have asked me this question, which we did, three or four years ago, you would have had a very different response, which they did provide. But in this scenario, you're seeing uh, just over 22% saying easier, just shy of 16, or 6D% saying stay the same, and 18.37%, sorry, 18.37% saying that it's becoming more difficult. This is the winner, if you will, of the processes that became easier and less difficult um, for the last year. And then investment management, again, 10% saying easier, 46% say stay the same, while 43% are saying it's more difficult. So what does this environment say? Just because debt and the financial crisis is easing, and just because debt management is becoming a little bit more easier to manage, everything else is becoming more difficult. Everything from cash management, the basic core of a treasury department, to bank relationship management, to investment management is becoming more difficult. The treasury practitioners are working at 99% capacity. And, and, and they're, they're, they're telling us essentially this in the survey results. Now, we ask. All right, things are more difficult. We get that. How do you view the strategic value of your department within your organization? 5.36% said that it is of low strategic value. 39% approximately said that it was of average strategic value. While just over 55.36% said that we are with high strategic value within our organization. This is a systemic change since the financial crisis. During the financial crisis, CEOs were in contact with treasurers daily. Where is our cash? Where's our, where are our cash equivalents? <laughs> Can we liquidate? How's our forecast? What's our liquidity management environment like? So I like to say reports that were um, uh, sent to the CFO from the Treasury Department and copied to the Treasurer during that time and their forward are now sent to the CEO and copied to the Treasurer and CFO. Or, yeah, correct, yeah. The treasurer and CEO. So, and, and we're also again we've asked this question year after year, and we're seeing a, a, a growth, a systemic growth in the strategic value of treasury operations within corporations. Um, so, switching gears, switching gears a little bit here um, to uh, treasury operations and some new tools in the marketplace. Um, I, I wanted to discover more about mobile banking because there's a lot in the marketplace about the tools that are available for practitioners um, from a mobile banking point of view. And we asked, would your organization benefit from the implementation of mobile banking services? And I was really surprised by this result. 73.21% um, said no. It's really uh, not of interest to us, while 26.79% uh, said yes. Um, I, I don't have it broken down yet, 
But I have a feeling that the people that were saying no might have been more on the treasury manager side, where they're actually sitting at their desk and doing the work day in and day out. Whereas the people that are saying, yes, I want that, might be of more senior level, to where they have to go out to the meeting, or they might have to go out to the field uh, and, and do some work, where they might need to approve a wire around the bill. So I, I haven't broken it down yet, but just on the surface, I found this to be a pretty interesting statistic. Okay, so this next question says, does your treasury department utilize a treasury workstation? And I, you know, the, the red is actually good in this scenario. Everybody <laughs> says they're actually utilizing it. Well, Green says that they're, they're, they're not. Um, but under 250 million, 20% of the organizations utilize a treasury workstation. Between 250 million and 5 billion, it's rather consistent at right around 45 to 50% of organizations using a treasury workstation. And then greater than 5 billion, 65%, just shy of 65% are utilizing a treasury workstation. Then we ask, which treasury workstations are you using? And you can see at the top, at 14.89%, at um, bank treasury workstations are popular. Uh, Kariba is a, a tool that, that is uh, being used. Wall Street Systems. Um, and then sort of in the middle there are a bunch of SunGuard products along with PeopleSoft, Oracle, and so forth. And then every time I speak with a corporate practitioner about treasury workstation implementation, they say, well, how long does it typically take? How long will it take for us to implement this treasury workstation? Well, I asked the question, oh, I guess for the next slide I asked the question. I'll get to that. Um, so this is, this is the, the I, I said, how long does it take to implement a treasury workstation? So we asked that question in the treasury survey. And it says, for organizations that are less than 250 million, it's just about six months. Uh, from 250 billion to a billion, um, about nine and a half months. A billion to five billion, 7.3 months. But again, remember that exponential growth I keep speaking about at five billion or greater? Greater than five billion, Eight, 17 and a half months approximately to fully implement a treasury workstation. Right. It's a half year, a year and a half, I should say. On average, about 11, just shy of, basically just shy of, of a year to implement a treasury workstation, 11.31 months. So we'll go back to the slides that I skipped over here. So if you're utilizing a treasury workstation, what modules are you using? So at the bottom is the most popular at 85% cash positioning and cash accounting module, having it integrated into your GL system. Debt management, EFTs, investment management make up sort of the top five popular modules. And then bank fee analysis, risk management, and FX um, sort of uh, are, are the least popular modules that are implemented. All right, moving forward to year-over-year -year statistics. Again, I mentioned this before um, when I first started the presentation. How many bank relationships does your organization have? So 2007 is pre-financial crisis. 2008 is post-financial, during and post-financial crisis. You see a jump here. What, what, what happened during the financial crisis? It's a, a crunch in liquidity and counterparty risk assessment. The organization said, why are we, why do we have 23.45 average bank accounts in 2007? We need to bring that. Well, that's exactly what they did in 2008. Brought it down to 16.62 average bank relationships per entity. And that trend is continuing to today. The average, um, average bank relationships per organization is at 15.35%. So that trend is, is narrowing. They're, 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 uh, they're condensing the amount of bank relationships they have. And the same can be said about the bank accounts. So in 2007, there was an average of 246 approximately bank accounts per organization. And today it's 190. So what's happening here? Bank relationships are being consolidated and bank accounts are being consolidated. You may have had duplicative services when you had 23 bank accounts, but you bring it down to 16 bank accounts and now you don't need as many accounts to, and so 
services to, to, uh, to address cash management requirements. Um, I spoke about this briefly before, but does your organization have a credit facility? And as you can see from the financial crisis on, it's pretty consistent. Right around 85% of organizations maintain a credit facility, while 15% do not. And then year-over-year -year statistics. This is the last slide, I believe, in this part of the presentation. Um, but it basically says, how do you think this year will compare against last year from an economic point of view? And as you can see in 2007, boy, it was pessimistic. Pessimism popular at that time. 63% approximately said, oh man, the economy is going down and it's going in the tank. Um, while the rest were saying it was going to be the same or, or, or better. Um, you can see that's changed. So in 2010, what a dramatic change. Go from 62% to 30, or I'm sorry, from 62% to just shy of 3%. Talk about optimism. But it's growing a little bit. So in 2011, just shy of 7.5% said that it was going to get worse. And in 2012, just shy of 11% said that it was going to get worse. So still, in total, great numbers. Right? We're still looking at 89% um, saying it's going to get better or stay the same. But on the other hand, that negative figure is growing a little bit. But to put things in perspective, it's not as bad as it was in 2009, was it? So anyways, that's the last slide, I believe. Yes, okay. That's the last slide with the trends in, in, in Treasury management and, and some of the results from the Treasury survey um, that we do. Um, I'm happy to entertain any questions you might have now before we um, sort of break into our uh, networking part of the presentation. Yes, what's your name? I'm Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Uh, this year we have 56 corporate respondents. <laughs> Any other questions? When you talk about the number of banking relationships, are you talking about all services or including the number of banks? Uh, specifically, the, the question pertained to from your organization's cash management requirements. How many banks are you dealing with? So the question was, you know, what's the definition of a bank relationship? Did I hear you correctly? Like, so it's, it's cash management related banks. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, what, what did you define for them or did you that it was kind of a primary relationship with the number of products or services? Great question. Yes, so, so the question is, how do you define the primary relationship when it comes to bank, uh, 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 picking your main cash management, right? Like, was it the number of bank relationships, services, or anything along those lines? Uh, we didn't define it. We, we just asked them, in your opinion, what is your main number one bank? I'm guessing they're probably looking at a combination of all three. So bank services, bank accounts, and how much money they're spending. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah. Great. Great. All right, fantastic. So now